you come to broken down building say right you don't want to loot anything inside of the building you want to actually go underneath the building and that is where you'll find the best loot you have to rubble through this garbage it may not look like much but sometimes you can find some really good rare items it's usually where a rare item spawn is so just make sure you look thoroughly And over here too, I have found bases spawn right here. All right, after looting that, then run underneath, run through. So after looting there, run over to broken house over here. And you're going to look for these locations. But first off, start off with the body. Just search the bag. Sometimes there'll be a food going outside the sky. He usually carries some decent loot. I see diaries. Things and such. After that, run um, rack around, run inside of the building. Look on this table right here, this box, nothing there. And then look inside of this box. Make sure it's Search this bag. This should be food usually on top of this sleeping bag sometimes. Uh oh, you're in a rut. You can come here. Sorry. All right. Run to this broken house, run to this shed. Break this table, nothing there. We'll loot this toolbox. All right, run back around okay. onto the next broken house directly in front of it. Back in front of this porta potty, you can usually find food. Sometimes streamer items will drop here, so be very cognizant of this area. Run around to this table, check the tables. Once you find things, once you don't. And here you usually find fuel, sometimes computer parts, such as that. Walk through here, sometimes you'll find more food behind this, sometimes you won't. Alright. Checking that, take a quick yonder through here. Then make your way past this grave, pay your respects, and keep going. Alright, so after successfully checking that table, you're going to look off in the distance and you should see smoke. It's going to be a helicopter crash. That's going to be our next location. Alright, after reaching the helicopter crash, you're going to check the toolbox in front of it. So I was looking inside of the helicopter. Around it. There'll also be a medical supply crate just off to the side. You should have hit that up. Close that. Check around this rock. Sometimes items spawn around here. On the campfire. You can see ammo spawns here sometimes or other medical supplies. Alright, after successfully doing that, you're going to run over here to these boxes. Take a quick look around each side of the box. There's nothing lootable on top of the box. And then you're going to make your way back up the top of this mountain. All right, after reaching the top, you see this road. Stay to the right of the road. If you stay all the way right, after running along the road to where you hit the wall barrier, just past this bush, you will hit a stash right about here inside this bush. Make sure to loot that. There's usually some good stuff in here. Right, after looting the bush, the stash, after looting the stash, keep going. You will continue to run all the way to this beautiful lodge house. I usually start with the outside of it first before going in, so I'll check this table for food. Around to the right, the medical bag in here around on the items on the shelf make sure you're not missing anything then make your way 
over to the next outside item. Be very careful this area. This area is going to be contested. They're going to be players here looting just like you. Go through here. Check the shelves. That's where I've had the most luck. This table is where I've had the most luck things also. And also shelves. And after successfully looting that. Start as if you're going in through the front door. So you're going through the front door. Open. The left. This room for injectors. Usually there's some on this table. It's just morphine. Get the bag. Could be an eye pack here sometimes. Back out to the hallway. Open this door. Another medical bag. Check that. The bathroom. So there's an eye pack there too. Be very wary that when you're going to this building and it's already been looted, that some people will sit here inside this bathroom and wait. I'm heading that out. We're across the dinner table. Check for computer parts in the chair and along as right next to the computer. So a laundry room. Do a quick check at the shelves. Is there anything in here? Check at the couch. Looks good. And run downstairs. And this floor, like the left. Of this production area, there's a real weapons box and as well as other good spot and items. Check these couches, this table over here. Sometimes a Bitcoin spawns over here. Continue to run left down the room. In this door, around these chairs. Most of the time, it's just food because it's theater. And run through here. Check the nightstands. Sometimes you can find Bitcoins. We're running through these two areas, runs to the other side of the second floor. Check the bag. This door to the bathroom. Once you find another IFAC laying over here. Run out this door. Continue down the hall. Open this door. More medical supplies in this room. Make sure to check this last bed. I have found a key card there before. Make sure to check this little refrigerator thing. This room, usually find another IFAC. Finally, continuing out to the balcony of the second floor. To the balcony of the second floor, come outside, check to the gun rack. There's nothing there, so there's not anything there. Run back inside and go downstairs to the final floor. Check the gym benches there. Outside to this Let's pool of water, this hot tub. Check around this body. It's usually pretty rare spawns here that will. Sometimes you find a Bitcoin, sometimes you'll find just random expensive computer parts, like arrays and stuff. Also, check this ball. That should cover it for this area. We'll forget about this. They sleep on this area for some reason, but it is actually very profitable. This box right here usually spawns some pretty decent base covers, anything like that. Face shields, weapons, full box down below, also profitable loot, and then this box especially. I've had very good luck with this box. Usually by this point, to go to the adjacent building, you should be pretty far on loot, but if you want to keep going, you will make your way over to the next lodge building. If I check this box, I have this weapons crate. Over here, check the bottom of this pool and this ball. Usually good spawns at the bottom of the pool, but right now there isn't. Check this ball, hit up this medical crate, some this IFAC and injectors. Lock hitting that, you run out to the outside. Go down here, check this spot. Then run back up the stairs. Check this table. After doing all that, you're gonna run in through. Can't use a safe unless you have the key for it. I'm assuming it's the beginner's guide that you guys will not have the key for it. Also come back here, check the top of this instrument. Next to the toilet. Check this kitchen sink. IFAC, and then run through here. Along here, check this sink also. Find a nice rubber chicken in there. Check outside on the floor right here. Doing so, run, check the top of this bed. Run 
down the hall. This door. Back at this shelf. And again, you can't use a safe either unless you have a key. Top of this bed. And the top of this table. Turn over here. Up this closet. Check this back. And run back down to the stairs. Go down to the main living room. You will run adjacent to the wine cellar. You will hit up this weapons box. And this grenade box. As well as hit up this weapons box on the outside of the balcony. One last spot I forgot to mention. You get to the main living room, run up the stairs. Look a right. The left. Another left. This main bedroom. Check the top of here. This table. The top of this bed. The top of that nightstand. Run up. Top of here, loot this weapons crate. Check the side of the bed. So at this point in the raid, you should be near full. If you hit all these spots, you should be ready to extract out of there. One thing to be wary of when looting this building is that cliff descent over there. People like to set up sniper positions and they will shoot through these windows. You'll be cognizant of that, and as well as the scavs who spawn to the right of the building near the cliff's edge and the player spawn that is behind here if they haven't already hit the spawn up or they've moved along down the line. 